Hey everybody, this is a quick video in case you have a Western Digital MyCloud and you need to do a hard reset to the factory default settings on it. Now there's a couple different models, it'll work for all of them, it's the same procedure. Um, now there's two reasons you're going to want to do this. The first one is troubleshooting. If you're having any issues where you're unable to access this um, and stuff like that, a hard reset where it's not working, a hard reset can fix a lot of things. The other reason is if you um, you know, just want to get a fresh start on it and get everything wiped off of it and get it back to its factory default settings, we can go ahead and do this. Um, it's pretty easy to do, although it's not super intuitive. So all we need to do, we need to have power to it, and we're going to come around and find the reset button. It's a little, in a little bit different places on a little bit different models. It's here on this one. They're all recessed reset buttons. So with your pen or your paper clip or whatever, you need to press and hold it for 60 seconds. So it's, it's a long wait, you gotta press and hold for 60 seconds. Now, you're not gonna look for a blink or anything in the LED, there's nothing gonna happen, just press and hold for 60 seconds and then release. It'll seem like nothing's happening at first, and then if it worked, after about five to 10 seconds, the, the MyCloud will turn off and it will all by itself and it will start to reboot. So after that reboot, the LED will start blinking for two to three minutes and while it's doing its reset and then it will reboot again and then your uh, MyCloud is reset you can go ahead set it up as a brand new device. 